Regional Customs Laboratory atau RCL Indonesia menjadi host dalam Sub-Regional Workshop on Customs Laboratories di Jakarta 4 hingga 8 Desember 2023. Berikut liputan selengkapnya. Workshop ini merupakan loka karya terkait laboratorium kepabeanan yang diselenggarakan oleh World Customs Organization atau WCO yang bertujuan untuk memberikan kesempatan kepada ahli kimia bea cukai di wilayah ASEAN untuk memperluas dan memperbarui pengetahuan analisis kimia serta klasifikasi terkait analisis kimia. Acara dibuka oleh Direktur Kerjasama Internasional Kepabeanan dan Cukai, Anita Iskandar, yang mengungkapkan RCL Indonesia merupakan satu-satunya WCO RCL di wilayah ASEAN untuk menguji barang dan mengidentifikasi barang secara laboratoris. Additionally, these laboratories are instrumental in determining the appropriate classification and valuation of goods for custom purpose. Workshop ini ditargetkan untuk anggota WCO di kawasan ASEAN dan terdapat enam negara yang sudah mendaftar yaitu Indonesia, Kamboja, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, dan Malaysia. Selain kegiatan belajar mengajar, terdapat agenda di luar kelas di antaranya kunjungan laboratorium ke Satuan Pelayanan LBC Tanjung Priuk. Dengan adanya acara ini diharapkan mampu meningkatkan knowledge bagi para peserta workshop dan dapat mengenalkan balai laboratorium bea dan cukai lebih luas lagi kepada negara-negara lainnya. We really hope that we can show more like respect and if we cannot accept the decision made by the customs laboratories, maybe we need to provide more like reasons. And also we have another challenge is that uh, you know uh, you know with the involving world now uh, you know uh, the the rule of the customs laboratory the modern customs laboratory is not only limited to the traditional work I mean uh, you know only focus on the HS classification and determine the level of uh, duties and taxes actually we uh, you know uh, modern customs laboratories their rules have already been expanded to the you know protection the, of the environment and sometimes the control of the dangerous goods such as like drugs so uh, we cannot only focus on the traditional work we may update the rule of uh, customs laboratories basically to increase the networking they are doing and also to look for synergies because they are doing common work and they use this uh, they, they can implement a, a network of, of knowledge in the region so they can share expertise they can share uh, best practices just to improve their work so i think uh, of course the chemists will gain a lot of knowledge in in uh, uh, many uh, identification of many chemicals but also in uh, the classification of the goods so this will indirectly improve the revenue of the countries Dari kantor pusat Beran Cukai, Ria, Hafiz, Kanal BCTV, mengabarkan.